I'm not retracting anything that I said about the Kodats virus here. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, this is the first video I can record after being sick. I did the antigen test and it came back negative. However, my sister, my mother, my woman, my friends all got sick simultaneously. And when they did the PCR test, it came back positive for the Kurats virus. Me personally, I'm not too keen on raping my nose. So therefore I didn't do the PCR test, but just the antigen test. Nevertheless, I will have to assume that yes, yours truly had the Kurats virus. I already did a quick live stream on it, but the brain fog was still so tremendous that today I feel a little bit fresher and able to speak on the subject matter. Brain fog, as I said, that was the most detrimental factor of this disease. Not as bad as the vegan brain fog, of course, but nevertheless, pretty, pretty severe. A brain fog that was debilitating. I couldn't think at all, needless to say. I couldn't concentrate, couldn't focus, couldn't work at all. I couldn't do one reaction video and I still haven't done any. God willing, next week I will be back to the regular schedule. Until then, I'm still recovering from the brain fog and from the depression that came with it. Super unusual for me, dark negative thoughts all day long. I don't have such an attitude at all, zero. But under the influence of Kudats, I was miserable, super depressed, was thinking about boohoo, quitting YouTube and whatnot. Absolutely disgusting. Thank God that is over now. The first five days were the most severe. I was coughing like a maniac, man. It was insanity. So much pus was coming out. I was sneezing all night, runny nose, tonsils swollen up, fever, then shivering, cold. Of course, I lost my sense of smell and taste as well. I was absolutely miserable. The interesting thing about this disease, however, is that it's not linear at all. Usually, if I get the flu, I feel an itchy throat or something, then I go to bed and the next day I wake up being sick. Then it progresses and gets worse and worse and worse until it gets better and better and better and better again. With this type of disease, on the other hand, it wasn't like it at all. I didn't feel anything. Out of a sudden, the next day, boom, I was sick but very, very mild at first. Then the next day it was worse, but it felt like a completely different type of disease. And so it continued on day three. I felt like I had a different type of disease yet again. Very strange, like some sort of hybrid. I can't really pinpoint it. It didn't feel like I was infected with one strain of something, but with a barrage of different diseases. And they would manifest themselves every single day differently. It was mind boggling. On top of that, there was no light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. As I said, usually you know, okay, now I'm sick, now I reached a peak, now it gets better. None of those sorts. Guys, today is day 18, almost three weeks, and I'm still a bit sick, but finally the brain fog went away. But I really can't tell you when I'm gonna be healthy again, when I'm gonna be back to 100%. I have absolutely no clue. I had no idea, I was convinced, hmm, tomorrow I'm gonna be fine again, I'm gonna go back to the gym, I'm gonna go back to Jiu Jitsu. Nope, even worse, the next day. Not linear at all, supremely diffuse, you're just in a fog constantly. So kind of scary stuff there. But all of that said, I have to clarify and tell you, I have been sick similar to this, if not worse. I had flus that lasted over five weeks before. Flus where I was in critical condition with very, very strong fevers. Back then, nobody called the authorities, nobody called the World Health Organization, nobody shut down the planet. This time they did. I'm not retracting anything that I said about the Kodats virus here. 
yes, it was a strange sickness. Yes, it was a strong flu. Yes, it was debilitating. But there's absolutely no reasoning to shut down the economy. There's no medical reasoning to shut down the economy, but a dark, dark political agenda behind it. I'm not retracing one bit from what I have said here on this channel. I'm still here. I survived. My woman was sick only three days nothing of course didn't affect my baby boy thank god my mother was sick for three weeks as well my dad didn't get infected at all so there you go of course the same goes for my friends as well on that note they are tip top fit no big side effects whatsoever i'm not retracing one bit here yes it was hard but nothing that you cannot survive. I just used simple medicines. I used ibuprofen, I used paracetamol, I used essential oils for inhalation, I used MMS, I used methylene blue as well now. Looking back, I have to say that I would have done it differently. It would be nice to have some hydroxychloroquine or whatnot at home. So certain different medications probably would have done a better job at the recovery. But nevertheless, even with the simplest methods, I still am recovered. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Yet again, just another quick life sign. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as I said, God willing, next week, I will be back to my regular schedule again. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. If you want to further support the channel, of course, check out the links within the description box below. Thank you very much. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.